Hi traders, welcome to my live trading session today, starting with MU. MU is down more than 3%, therefore I expect it to become a gap and go. Big gap down, they should move under the lows. I'm shorting 2,000 shares. Being a little bit careful with my size here, usually I, I trade a little bit more size, but it's just a second one minute candle. Now KSS is the same idea, but this stock is down 17%, therefore you really expect a successful gap and go. So I'm going to short 4,000 shares here, expecting it to come under the lows just moved into my short position look at the price action right now just broke down under the lows I'm up two thousand dollars taking my partial and leaving just 400 shares for the continued move now the S&P was moving lower now it's moving higher so I'm expecting Tesla to get back to the highs Tesla started with a gap up today it looks strong I'm buying 600 shares here expecting it to move higher again Tesla was strong and the S&P is moving higher. Same idea for Boeing. Boeing is strong today. It's moving up. It's trending higher. The S&P is trending higher. The airlines are trending higher. So I'm taking 4,000 shares long in Boeing right here, expecting it to move to a new high. Now take a look at the nice move over the highs here. I'm up $2,000. It's moving higher. It's again trending with the market four thousand dollars taking my partial and just leaving 400 shares now tesla just touched the highs it looks great the s p is moving higher therefore i'm following the s p the trend of tesla the trend of the s p i'm up six grand i'm taking my partial and i'm leaving just 200 shares cldx a quick move in here four thousand shares short the reason for that this stock is down 17 or 15 percent now it just came down a little bit it's showing some weakness and because it's so weak today it's likely to get back to the lows it tried to move higher just came down I'm up two thousand dollars took my partial left 400 shares meta take a look at the market first the market is failing it's coming down I will explain that soon so I'm gonna go short meta right over here two thousand shares the same idea applies for Nvidia nice reversal it's a weak stock it's down two and a half percent and I'm shorting two thousand shares and again it all started with the S&P 500 because the S&P 500 just changed direction and came down and I will explain that real soon so I'm short Nvidia it's coming down it's looking great again I'm being careful here because the market was trending higher now it's trending lower and I'm up like uh, was up $1,000 now a little bit more $2,000 over one point leaving 200 shares for the continued move same idea with Islam up $1,500 it made a nice nice move down and I'm about to take my partial and uh, wait for the continued move and again I'm expecting the market now to continue coming down leaving 200 shares in meta that was a great trade too and here are my results over $21,000 and seven out of seven green trades do you think day trading is gambling well seven out of seven green trades tell you what if you follow the trend of the stock that you're trading if you follow the trend of the s p 500 which is what the institutional traders are doing then you are likely to succeed so seven out of seven green trades if do you think it's gambling or not comments right here below but I do owe you an explanation about what happened today take a look at the S&P the S&P started without any gap today the initial move was slightly higher then it came down a little bit but then it decided to move higher so it was trending higher and at the point where at the beginning of the trading session today I took two short trades two short trades uh, first one was uh, MU and then I took KSS but that has nothing to do with market direction why because when the stock is gapping down more than three percent it's likely to gap and go meaning continue the direction of the gap so the pressure of the sellers is much stronger than market direction and both stocks worked out nicely but then the market decided to move higher once the market decided to move higher I was looking for stocks which are trending higher which are relatively strong stronger than the market for example Tesla and Boeing so I went long both because they were outperforming Boeing was moving higher because the airline was moving higher Tesla started with the gap up today whatever they both worked out fantastically well because I well because I, I had the support of the S&P 500 I had the support of the institutional traders who gave me the backwind I needed to have profitable trade both in Tesla and in Boeing but then the market was at the point reversing take a look at the stopping tails here one of the strongest indication 
of a topping tail at a breakout point, which is what happened here, because we had a small bull flag formation here. The market was moving higher, we would expect it to continue, but it did not. And then it's left a topping tail. It's one of the strongest reversal indications. So then the market started coming down. Well, still, normally, I would expect it to pull back down a little bit and then continue higher, but not when we are in a crash mode. The market has been crashing in the past several weeks. So when you have a pullback from the highs, especially when you have such a nice indication of a reversal, you will or you should expect the market to move down under the lows. That is a failure. And I was waiting for this. That's why I shorted Meta and Nvidia, because at that point, it looked to me like the market is about to fail and I was looking for short trades. So always trend trade with the trend of the stocks that you pick, but also with the trend of the market. And some systems like a gap and go should move lower or higher regardless of market direction. I hope you liked this video enough to give me a like. And um, if you do, please also subscribe to my channel for some strange reason. 80% of the people who are watching this video are not subscribing to my channel and you can subscribe and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And please, please, please remember that trading is extremely hard. Start with a demo. There's a link right here below to the Colmex demo platform. The same you're seeing here. And Colmex is my favorite platform. I think you will have lots of fun trading this platform. And please remember, you should start with a demo. Don't take any risk because trading is extremely hard and most traders do lose money. Plenty of other links right here below. Also to join me in my live trading room where I trade live every day. And you can join me here for a free 14 day trial. All of these trades were called live in my trading room. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.